you guys have seen this, right? But there's this massive article. I'm going to try and read as fast as I can about Hassan Minaj, right? Hassan Minaj, Hassan Minji, right? Hassan Minji got in a bit of trouble because he allegedly lies in some of his jokes, which is, I think, common knowledge for most comedians. So I'm not too sure why he's getting an op-ed about it, but it's from the New Yorker. The title is Hassan Minaj's Emotional Truths. And we're going to see why these guys decided to dedicate this entire story to him because the artwork is pretty cool to be fair they even commissioned somebody to make this artwork and this a uh, thousand word fucking article and i'm not really too sure why we all know fucking comedians lie um so i'm not surprised why you know this, this shouldn't be a surprise for anybody but anyway has someone just the one getting torn up um wherever burt crasher is if he's not shaking from the alcohol withdrawals he's definitely shaking from this headline because he's probably going to be next because he lies more than anybody and then maybe brendan so let's see what they're talking about so comedian has Minaj came of age as a practicing muslim in an indian family post 9 11 his netflix series patriot act um comedy news show in the mold of the daily show blah 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 um his stage work and comedy has led to two netflix comedy specials which have drawn plaudits from Minaj's blend of autobiographical storytelling and social justice commentary. He recently conducted a lengthy sit-down interview with Barack Obama and is a leading candidate to succeed Trevor Noah as a host of The Daily Show. Really? Fucking hell. The Daily Show's fallen off, innit? Trevor Noah's fucking garbage. And then you're replacing him with Hassan Minaji horrible in 2019 minaji uh, was selected as one of the time magazine of influential people in co company article noah wrote we needed hassan's voice since donald trump came no oh, donald trump bad blah 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 um in minaji's approach to comedy he leans heavily on his own experience as an asian american and what so he's he's not only american he's asian american and muslim american yo the identity politics you guys got in the states is fucking crazy i'm an african-american christian american is that what i am now? <laughs> it's so redacted i'm an african-american christian american that's what i would say <laughs> hold on what's your name first of all i'm an african-american christian american okay but what's your name <laughs> fucking insane anyway for many of his fans he has become the avatar of the power of representation in yo get to the point bro um but after many weeks of trying i had been unable to confirm some of the stories he had told on stage so this guy was a diversity hire in some respects right tv needed more brown faces needed more brown voices needed more immigrant minority stories they lift him up they put him in position and the same people who champion him from the rooftops or from the rafters are now the same people ripping him apart and saying his stories or his jokes aren't real. I hate the world, man. I fucking hate the world. Honestly. The same people that propped him up and used him as a fucking social justice banner are now trying to tear him down because he lies in his jokes. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Can we fucking find out about fucking Ghislaine Maxwell's client list, please? Can we do that, please? Can we spend more time writing op-eds on the client list from fucking... What's his fucking name? I'm not going to say because I don't want to get taken down. But come on, man. Can we do more investigative journalism on that, please? Instead of getting to the bottom of whether a comedian lies on stage. Anyway for many of his fans he's become the nerd but after weeks of trying i'm able to confirm the stories when we met on a recent afternoon at a comedy club in west village minaj acknowledged for the first time that many of his anecdotes that he related his netflix special were untrue still he said that he stood by his work every story in my style is built around the seed of truth my comedy arnold palmer is event 70 percent emotional truth this happened and then 30 percent hyperbole exaggeration and fiction what the fuck is emotional truth? Because you feel it is true. I don't even want to get down that road. That sounds like fucking gobbledygook. But we continue. In Minaj's 2022 Netflix standout special, The King's Gesture, a biographical reflection on fame, um, vainglory, uh, and Minaj's obsession with social media, he relays a story about the F an FBI informant who infiltrated his family's Sacramento area mosque in 2002. <laughs> if you believe this anyway you're a fucking redact i swear to god go and jump off the nearest bridge head first he relays a story about an fbi informant who infiltrated his family's sacramento area mosque in 22 in 2002 sorry when minaj was a junior in high school as minaj tells it brother eric a muscle-bound white man who said he was a convert to islam gained the trust of the mosque community 
He went to dinner in Minaj's house and he even offered to teach weight training to the community's teenage boys. So some random white man who infiltrated their mosque was diddling some of the kids in the fucking weight room. And you guys believe this story to be true? Some, some buff FBI agent. Have you guys not watched TV? Have you guys not been to your local police station? When's the last time you've seen a buff policeman? Let alone an FBI agent who spends most of the time on the desk. Come on, bro. Um, anyway, Minaj decided to mess with brother Eric, telling him that he wanted to get his pilot license after 9-11. That's a bit... <laughs> that's a bit wild, right? Imagine you meet a fucking FBI agent as an Asian dude and you tell him you're trying to work for your pilot's license. <laughs> that's the first thing. <laughs> <laughs> hold on hold on I mean, I decided to mess with Eric um, soon the police were on the scene slamming Minaj on the hood of a car years later while watching the news with his father Minaj saw a story about Craig Montiel who assumed the cover of the personal trainer when he became an FBI informant in the Muslim communities in Southern California well 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 Papa look who it is Minaj recalls telling his father it's our good friend brother Eric on stage, a large screen behind Minaj flashes news footage from the Al Jazeera news report on Montelli, uh, on that, whatever his name is, Montiel, and Minaj's teenage hunch. It seems very well was proved right. The moment is played for laughs, but the story underscores the threat that being Muslim in the United States carried during the early days of the war. Why are they trying to explain this joke to us? We get the joke. Minaj surges, segue, sorry, to the case of Hamid Hayat, a young man from another Sacramento area town who spent much of his adult life in prison based on a confession of his attorney says a co um, says he was coerced he just got out of prison this past June says Minaj man he's my age he's 36 I think about Hamid all the time later in the special Minaj speaks about the fallout of the Patriot Act segments of the killing of Jamal Khashoggi and, Nar and Narendra Modi Hindus nationalism and the big screen displays threatening tweets that were sent to Minaj most disturbing he tells the story of a letter sent to his home which was filled with white powder the context accidentally spilled onto the young daughter should have racked it up man should have made sure it wasn't lines Te double tested it she made sure it wasn't what it need to be i mean rack that bad boy up bro um the child was rushed to hospital it turned out to be an not to be anthrax but it was a sobering reminder that minaj's comedic actions had real life consequences later that night his wife in the fury told him that she was pregnant with her second child you get to say whatever you want on stage and we have to live with the consequences minaj recalls her saying i don't give a shit that time magazine thinks you're an influencer if you've ever put my kids in danger again i'll leave you in a second so if you watch that comedy special on my life and you believe these stories to be true, you're a fucking idiot. I'm sorry. Idiot with a capital I. If you listen to these stories of some white buff guy infiltrating a mosque so they could gain information for the FBI, and then they're having a conversation over eating wraps, right, in the fucking parking lot, and he mentioned something about flying fucking planes, and then you hear the story about the fucking anthrax in the post. And then the other story. Like, if you believe those, you are an idiot. Come on. Um, prior to my meeting with Minaj, Motelli, aka Brother Eric, had told me that Minaj's story is a fabrication. I have no idea why he would do that, said the FBI agent. Um, Molif was in prison in 20, 2002 and didn't work for the FBI on the counterterrorism measures until 2006. Details of his undercover actions were catalogued in a legal case that was made his way on the Supreme Court. So the FBI is hiring com like convicts. This guy was in prison in 22 and he worked for the FBI four years later. Shit, okay. Deals of his undercover actions were catalogued in a legal case that has made his way to the Supreme Court. Molliff said that he has worked only for South Carolina, South California, so not Sacramento. The New York Police Department, which investigates um, instances of possible whatever that word is, has no record of the incident like the one Minaj describes, nor do area hospitals, front desk and mailroom employees at Minaj's former residence don't remember such an incident, nor the Patriot Act employees involved in the show's security. During our conversation, Minaj admitted that his daughter had never been exposed to white powder <laughs> and that his daughter... <clears throat> 
he had opened up a letter delivered to his apartment and he said and it contained some sort of powder Minal said that he had the joke for his wife holy shit what if this was anthrax he said that he had never told anyone on the show about his letter despite the fact that they were concerned of his security do we care i don't i'm not gonna lie i don't give a fuck i don't know why they're writing this i'm not gonna read the whole thing but do we fucking give a shit he made some lies up in his fucking Netflix stand-up special to add to the brevity of his stories, to talk like he's an immigrant, he's oppressed and blah, blah, blah. Do we fucking give a shit? I don't. What is this, bro? Why are they tearing him down? What did he do? What did he do? Did he fucking, did he fuck somebody's kid or something? This is such a waste of time. They made this article, they made some journalists write it, they commissioned an artist to make this amazing little illustration at the top all for nothing. He made up some stories. I don't give a fuck. Hassan Minaj, we stand with you, brother. Keep lying on stage. Keep making white people feel guilty. <laughs> Keep collecting your checks. We stand with you, brother. Everybody's out here lying. Lie, 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 lie. If Brendan Schaub and Burt Kreischer can have a career, so can you. Go for it, brother. Keep lying. Say you was in the Mossad. Say you used to be in fucking Al-Qaeda. Say you used to fucking live in Afghanistan. Say your family is actually from Pakistan. Say all that shit, bro. Say it. Say you're going to fight for the militia. Say you fought in Ukraine. Say all the lies. Lie, 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 lie. Do the thing. Do it. Fuck these people, man. Whoopi Goldberg came to his defense. Good old Whoopi. She knows what to do. That's what we do. Us minorities, we always stand together. Minority strong. That's what we do. MS. It's not multiple sclerosis. It's actually minority strong. Okay, that's what we do. We stand together. Whoopi Goldberg defends Hassan. What does she say? What did Whoopi say defending him on The View? She says, that's what we do. That's what we do. We tell stories and we embellish. Don't worry, baby. We tell stories. That's what we do. <laughs> that's what she said. If you're going to hold, you're coming to a point where they're going to check up on stories, you have to understand. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. <laughs> yeah. A lot of it is not the extent of the thing that's happened. Because why would we tell you exactly what happened? It ain't that interesting. <laughs> Towards our job is to see the truth. Sometimes the truth is sometimes total BS. <laughs> Um, what do you say here? Yeah, see, it's all good. She she supports her. Big up Whoopi. Big up Whoopi for standing with minorities. Minority strong, okay? Minority strong. That's what we do. Min <laughs> Minority strong. <laughs> Big up minorities. Oh, mate, honestly, people are earning salaries writing that shit. You know, 